In this video, let's walk through five common REST API authentication methods and where each one fits in real-world systems. Understanding these patterns is essential for building secure APIs and choosing the right trade-offs between simplicity, security, and scalability. Basic Authentication At the top of the graphic, you can see basic authentication. The client requests a resource, the server responds asking for a username and password, and the client sends those credentials, usually in the HTTP authorization header, often encoded, but not encrypted. This approach is extremely simple to implement, but it is only acceptable over HTTPS and still not ideal for modern production APIs because the same static credentials are sent on every request, increasing the risk if they are ever intercepted or leaked. Session Authentication Next is classic session-based authentication, which you'll recognize from traditional web apps. The user logs in with a username and password, the backend server validates them, creates a session record in a session store, and returns a cookie containing the session ID. On later requests, the browser automatically includes that cookie, the server looks up the session from the store, and if it's valid the request is authenticated. This model works well for server-rendered apps, but does not scale as cleanly in distributed microservices because session state has to be shared or centralized. Token Authentication, JWT The third method is token-based authentication, often implemented with JSON Web Tokens or JWTs. After the user logs in once, an authentication server issues a signed token that encodes user identity and claims, and the client stores that token securely. For each subsequent API call, the client sends a token, usually as a bearer token in the authorization header, and the API server verifies the signature and expiry without needing a central session store. Because the server can validate tokens statelessly, this approach is very popular for scalable APIs and microservices. OAuth-based authentication The fourth pattern is OAuth-based authentication, which is really an authorization framework used when a client needs access to resources on behalf of a user, such as logging in with Google or GitHub. The flow involves redirecting the user to an authorization server, getting an authorization grant, exchanging it for an access token, and then using that token to call a resource server. OAuth 2.0 is ideal for third-party integrations and delegated access because the client app never sees the user's actual password. Instead, it receives time-limited tokens with specific scopes that define what it can do. API Key Authentication Finally, the diagram shows API Key Authentication. Here, the server issues a unique key to the client, the client stores it, and then includes it in each request, often as a header or query parameter, so the server can identify and authorize the caller.